Suzuki's SV1000. This is a 2003 model and is the N version. There was also an S version which came out around the same time and actually continued on a little bit longer than the N. Back in 2003 it was met with mixed response from the motorcycling press but generally it all sounded like this. When I got this bike it wasn't running. It was covered in corrosion, it had sat under a carport, anyway long story short there were many hours spent cleaning and fussing and fiddling and swearing and also cleaning the bike. We got it going and from that time I've used it from commuting, back roads, two up, all sorts of things. One thing I do like about the SV is its lightweight. Coming in dry at about 186 kg that's the bike, not me. Whereas fully wet weight, it's uh, 207 kg. Puts out, depending on which magazine you read or which dyno you refer to, about 106 or 108 at the rear wheel. Now, I'm not going to bore you with any more stats and figures and all that kind of stuff because you can look that up if you're not too lazy. Otherwise, I'll do another review on all of that sort of stuff. Where the bike really excels is out on these back roads. Uh, it is a strong mid-range and with this sort of bike, call me lazy, probably am, but you know you can just really roll on the power on this. Uh, you can often stay within one or two gears easy, um, you set up a nice set of corners, all you're th thinking about is how am I going to enter this and how am I going to exit that. It's a bit like relationships sometimes isn't it? What it does respond to well is suspension tuning. So whether it be fresh oil, springs or a new shock on the back, you're going to benefit from it and you're going to notice it. Will it change it into a Hayabusa slash GSX-R1000? No, it doesn't work like that in life. But what it will do is actually, it will just enhance the riding experience even more. Oh my god! Wow! The thing is about this bike is that there's also a really good forum support. The, what, you, you name the problem that's happened on this bike and you'll probably be able to find it within this forum and there'll be an answer as to how to fix it. Whether you can fix it or not is a different thing or whether it has to go into a shop. Anyway, that was just my short review on the SV. I certainly wouldn't take this review seriously. Whatever it is that you ride, ride safely. Most importantly, look after yourself so you can ride safely. Until the next time, See you later.